hello is it me you're looking for <laughs> i'm back <laughs> right this is the final bit now tesco's and m&s haul so i got on um, tesco yeah i said about the eggs didn't i in the on the iceland part of this video i got these eggs from tesco which were reduced from 115 to 57p they're absolutely fine um, they were just on to display until the 3rd, which is today, but used by the 10th. Well, I'll use these by the 10th anyway. So I picked two boxes of those up because that's, I've got, so that's what, 114. I've got two boxes for less than one price box normally. So that's good because I use a lot of eggs. So I'm happy with that. Put those over there out of the way. Um, and then I'm going to do a cauliflower cheese with our lunch on Sunday and the cauliflowers that were British ones um, and that were in there looked a bit, they were a bit too small so and then the big, the large ones and the extra large were too big so I thought well anyway I bought, to cut a long story short, I bought a bag of frozen florets so at least I won't have to steam it for a while or boil it for a while. At least I can just bang this in the dish and do my cheese sauce, put my sauce on and bang it in the oven. So they were a pound. Well, the collies were, I think they were 89p for a normal one. And the big ones, I think they were 180 or something. Um, but they were just too big. So frozen. They're as good as anyway. Um, cheese sauce it doesn't really matter you know it's not like it's going to be on your plate i mean i've not actually eaten it without a cheese sauce on i've always used fresh but they say don't they that there's much vitamins and things in it when it's frozen as there is when it's fresh so we'll see we'll see and that'll last me a couple of weeks as well sweet potatoes from a chunks if i'm doing this i saw phil vickery on this morning doing um wedges with sweet potato and he said to um, toss them in corn flour, not flour, corn flour, and it makes them crispy. So I'm going to double check that, what he said, and see if there's a specific amount or see if you need to put anything else on it. Um, and I'm going to have a go at doing them in chunks, either like in the oven, like little roasted chunks. So either with my fajitas or for another recipe in the week with another tea or something, I don't know. But anyway, these were... Sweet potato, 89p. Big, a biggish bag. What's in here? A kilo. So I only wanted two, really, but it would cost me more for two than it would for the bag. So I got the bag, as you would. So let's pop that over there, out of the way. So that was that. And then, um, because I'm doing my cheese, call it, uh, what is it called? <laughs> I'll have to look up my list. Corn. Corn and paneer curry. I got a thing of paneer. That's quite good actually. It was one pound thirty, and that's a good chunk, chunky cheese. I love this in curry. The first time I had it, I was a bit, oh, I don't know if I'm going to like this, but uh, I have to say, I'm converted. Beautiful. We are trying to eat meat free less each week, so either one or two meals minimum per week. At minimum one we're having where there's no meat but and i'm trying to incorporate more fish we do tend to have fish um uh, even if it's fish cakes or fish goujons or fish that's covered in light like, breadcrumbs or whatever we do try to eat um fish once a week at least my hair is irritating me can you see this fluffy bit that's what i keep itching at it's it's irritating me it's sticking out i need to try and get the clippers off <laughs> it's I'll be doing it blind, won't I, from the back like that, unless I wait while hubby's in and do it. I'm going to do it pink, I think, tonight, anyway, my hair. So you may be seeing me with it pink tomorrow, or pink flashes or whatever, on the next video. This has got, I did put like a lavender on, it's nearly gone, actually. And I look part at Blue Rinse Brigade, I didn't really like it very much. <laughs> I was like, oh my lord, I feel like I look like my nana or something. When my nana used to have Blue Rinse <laughs> Oh, Phyllis, of Coronation Street. Remember Phyllis that had the purpley, purpley blue hair? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, so the pink's coming back. People are used to seeing me with pink, and I used to see me with blue. <laughs> um, anyway, moving on. I got a whole chicken for Sunday, 4 75 and it's an extra large one, and it weighs two kilo. So, he's there. 
pot of chicken. Uh, I got some carrots, which were a kilo, 41 p. British carrots. I do try and buy British if I can. Especially now, we've left the EU as well. And um, because of the impact on the environment, if I can buy British rather than have it flown. I mean, there were some strawberries uh, in Tesco the other day from Egypt. Well, Egypt, I mean, we are a big strawberry grower in this country. When they're in season, you need to buy food, really to get the best quality and value while it's in season. So I did used to have a chart on my fridge that listed like the season, the month and what was um, in season in that particular month and things like that. But I don't know what happened to it. It must have got thrown away. Um, I'll have to see if I can find another one because that was really handy. And you could see what things were coming into season next month. You could plan what you were going to cook or bake or freeze or whatever. So yeah. So, Egypt, I'm not buying strawberries from Egypt, she says. I've bought some blueberries somewhere, but I don't know where they're from. I didn't check, actually. I don't know where they are. We'll come to them. Um, anyway, right, so, yes, pears. That's my next one. I keep going off on a tangent, I know. Pumpkins, pears. Um, where are these from? British. That's all right. Um, Ripen at home, pumpkins, pears. And they were... At 160, but I think I seem to think I got some off those with my club card because they started doing it with the club card, haven't they? Now, yeah, 81p off, so they were like 79p. That's good. There's, there's six, I think there's five in there, five pairs, so that's good. Um, I got some apples, these are from Kent. These are mini Braeburn. These are for dog biscuits. Well, to win the dog biscuits. I only needed two, but um, they were 79p. So I'll cook something with the others. Might do. I've got some apple sauce and things I made in the freezer. I might do like um, a roasted apple or stewed apple. That's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to think. <laughs> might do stewed apples with them at the weekend. So that's those. Because um, I've got raisins and things in sultanas okay so put it this way they won't get wasted i also got a cabbage 45p it didn't matter what size that they were um they were all 45p this is in the uk as well this is grown in the uk and i got a butternut squash to put make the dog biscuit things are these from uk i oh, know this is spanish so we'll have to accept that um I think it's about October when these are in season in this country. Uh, but I needed this for my uh, dumplings. So that was a pound. I'm going to roast it whole and then scrape the, the pull out of it. Oh, can't, can't get my words out, can I? And then my handbag. I was talking about my handbag. Um that my mum bought me before she died, a few years before she died, and it's a suede one. And somebody said to me that in the supermarket, it's got a bit grubby around the, where the zip is, and I love it. It's like a hobo bag, like a big grey slouchy thing, and it's leather at the bottom, so the bottom don't get all acky if you put it down, but then it's suede everywhere else. Well, where the zipper is at the top, it's just got a bit grubby, and I don't want to get rid of it. So they said to try this, um, some suede refresher or cleaner or something so this was 350 and it's suede and new book quick dry cleaner i have got a suede brush so i should be able to just buff it along with the brush you put this on it uh, and we'll see what happens now this was 350 so i was a bit shocked but having said that my bag was like just short of 80 pounds so it's worth it it's worth it and because mum bought me it I, want, I don't want to get rid of it um, I got some muffins. I thought I'd have them at one. I don't eat breakfast, but I thought I might have a muffin in the week at about lunchtime for my lunch or, or instead of breakfast. Um, so four English muffins, and that is what it says on the thing. Look, four English muffins, uh, six to pick. So that's all right. What else have we got on here? I got some mushrooms. They were eighty-two p. 
I just put my recipes in the way, put some in the curry, I put mushrooms in everything. I got two boxes of my tea bags. I don't know where they disappeared to. They're hiding somewhere. These are 75p a box, and this is the ones that I normally buy red berry infusion. So that's those. So they're 75 each. I got some beetroot, which was reduced. Sweet and fiery beetroot. This will be good for a few days. Um, it's got today's date on it, but reduced from 150 to 75p. It'll be fine. It's in vinegar. It's dipped in vinegar. The vinegar kind of pickles it and preserves it, so it'll be absolutely fine. So that was that. I got hubby and salted popcorn. And um, I got butter kissed toffee popcorn. I'm not keen on the salted. I like the sweet and salty and I like the toffee. And I like the sweet, but I'm not keen on just the salty one. Um, so the popcorns were... The salted was a pound and the toffee 159. Blueberries I got which were 89p. This is again for the biscuits. Um, so they're the Red Main Fat Rose Dean Farm brand. So that's those, and that's for 125 grams. My biscuits need 150 grams, but I didn't want to buy two packs just for another half a dozen blueberries. So that's those. Um, I got an iceberg lettuce. Not a lot to say about that really, that was 43p and that same again a cucumber which was, um, how much was a cucumber? 43p. I got a side salad for my dinner tonight, quick and easy, with it being shopping day I can't be bothered messing about or, and I'm on my own as well so just thought I'll just get a little salad and have it with my veggie cauliflower cheeseburger thing that I'm going to have whatever it is that's left in the freezer <laughs> trying to run my freezer down as well so that's why there's not a lot of meat on this um, this haul as well because I'm trying to use everything up out of my freezer so I've got chicken and all sorts in there chicken breasts and things but the big chicken the whole chicken that's for Sunday dinner um, I've got some tomatoes cherry tomatoes two packs of cherry tomatoes they were 48p I've got a sliced fruit loaf for hubby's pack up Everything's pack up, isn't it? Or dog biscuits. <laughs> no, it sounds like it. The Tesco sliced fruit loaf. This hasn't got cinnamon in it or anything, so you don't like the cinnamon one. Um, that's the pound from Tesco. So that's, I think the cin the Warburton's ones, I think they're about 150 or something. So that's cheaper anyway. Um, and then I got a breadstick, a baton, in case I'm a bit hungry because I haven't had any lunch, in case I want that with my well a piece of that with my tea tonight as well that was 69p i got some hot dog rolls these are lovely for baked sandwiches tesco's own as well and they're really soft uh, i'll just bang them in the freezer till the weekend and they're 69p and there's six in the pack and i got some, ooh, some tortilla chips lightly salted ones these i put uh, with his pack up as well and if he's going to be out i just put it in his bag and then if he's staying out overnight or a couple of nights because last week he was out nearly all week so um i like to get him bits and bobs and put them in a bag and then i do his sandwich and that and he can have a bit of a mixy matchy thing whatever he wants so that was that uh what did we get multi buy savings 81p what was that for I don't know, but that's not 81p off. I also got some sandwich bags as well um, from Tesco. What else have we got? I think that's it from Tesco. I got some milk, but that's in the fridge. Um, just a small one. Oh, was that from Iceland? Oh, that might have been Iceland, actually. Right, so moving on to the m and um, I just bought these masks. I haven't opened them yet. Because I've got a few masks, but I've, I've thrown some away. Because when you wash, 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 wash them, they start to drop to bits, don't they? So, they were advertising, uh, no, they weren't advertising. Mark was advertising these on the rain. They were £9.50 for five. And I thought, when he said nine fifty, I thought, what? And then when I thought about it, for five, it's less than £2 each. And they are washable as well. And they're adjustable. And it's 100% cotton and they're antibacterial. So... Um, it says, let's see, should fit snugly, blah, 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 as we know. 
Where is it? Machine wash after each use is recommended. So let's have a look. There were loads of different ones as well. This is all I got from Marxist. And they're all security sealed so that you know that nobody's opened them and had them out or anything. Let's see. So in the pack, there's that one, which is, I think, I think it's black. Well, it could be navy. Black or whatever. Uh, like a turquoise teal colour. Then a pink one. And tiger print. Is that tiger? No, leopard print. And then this, is that zebra? I don't know. So let's have a look. Let's see what they fit like. Put that over. Yep, just need to adjust it a little bit. Oh, they've got the toggles on that you have to squeeze in to adjust so that they don't alter on their own. That's good. I can't get hold of the elastic on it though. <laughs> Is that tidgy? And I'm struggling at the minute with my hands with arthritis. I have to do it like that. That's that side. Wait a second to get it started. Oh crikey, that's not good. Wait a minute, I think once you've got it started, it'll be so alright. Right, that's it. You just have to do it with your teaspoon or fork or something, if not. Right, let's see. Oh yeah, oh do you know, they're really comfortable. They're more comfortable than the other ones I've got, um, that I bought off, um, off the internet they are really comfortable and they touch my face not tight the tight the touching but they're not like squashing my face down sometimes I feel that the even the ones the the adjustable ones the fit my nose is only small and it I've got I've got no proper bridge on my nose here it just goes woof like that so I feel like they're squashing my nose down flat because there's no nothing here to to protect it. That's why I struggle with glasses as well. I have to get the these ones rather than the ones with the prong things on. Um, so yeah, so they're really comfy. So they are well worth that money. Nine pound fifty for a pack of five, which means that be able to wear it when I go shopping, bang it in the wash. I'm not in any rush then to wash it and get it dry. For the following week or the weekend or whatever whenever we go out and now when lockdowns lifted you know you, you're going to need one of these i'll probably need all these in the week because once lockdowns lifted if we're allowed out and once the shops reopen the good the, you know the other shops not just food shops then the people will be going out more um so you'll need more masks so i mean don't get me wrong i won't be going silly and going out every single day but you know, if you go out a couple of times in a week, you soon get through these. So I'm glad that they're washable, but I'm glad that it's a pack of five um, because then, as I say, you don't have to mess about. But I suppose if you wash these by hand, um, they'll be dry overnight anyway. So, yeah, so that was my Marxist um, haul, if you like. <laughs> so they also have these in kids' ones. I don't know how much the kids' ones were. I ought to have had a look, really. I just was in a rush and I went in, got these, came and went to the self-service checkout thing and out, and that was it. Um, I went on Saturday to try and get them, but it was heaving. And I thought, I'm not going in there. Um, they were queuing inside, up the aisle, from the tills, up the aisle like that, back down the other aisle and out the door. I don't know, I think it was payday, weren't it, this weekend, so... That's probably why, the general payday for everybody at the end of the month. That's probably why it was busier. So I didn't even go in. I just thought, no chance, and came out. Um, and I thought, I'll go in the week when I go shopping. We've gone to get some coal and things at the weekend. And I said to Graham, while, while we're over here, uh, we've gone to B&M for some coal. And I said, while we're here, on the next door to Marks and Spencer, he went in there and I went next door. And I didn't even go in. It was just crazy. So, anyhow, we're off on a tangent again. So, there we go, guys. I hope you like that video. I hope I can link them together. If not, it'll be quite funny, won't it? So, enjoy. Have a good day. Don't forget to look after yourselves. And, um, you know, 
people are getting really lonely and stressed and things at the moment and it's a time when we all need to pull together so if there's somebody that you haven't spoken to for a while or you know a member of your family that you haven't seen because of the lockdown or since last year with first lockdown whatever just give them a ring don't text because you know that's no effort is it really pick the phone up and speak to people and um just have a chit chat have a cuppa have a chit chat i mean me and my, my, my friend um she's like my neighbor at the caravan and she we agreed she texted me and said i up for a facetime chat tomorrow so we agreed a time uh, and we both made a cuppa and then we had a, a cuppa a cup of cha or a cup of coffee uh, and we had a chit chat chit chat FaceTime like I'm chit chatting to you now and we caught up with everything and we were on the phone for about an hour um, and it was lovely and I showed her because she likes our dog she's got a little dog as well and she'd got him on her knee and she was showing me him and I'm showing her them and <laughs> so yeah it was nice and I felt a bit better because I, I just I'm, I'm myself I'm feeling it a little bit at the minute um, an advert came on television for some um stuff that my mum used to use because her hair was thinning uh, and she couldn't understand why her hair was falling out and things and it, it was a nerve thing with my mum she lived on her nerves um, and she couldn't understand anyway this advert came on this morning for this Viviscal which is what she used to buy but she used to have to buy it off the internet because they've only just released it I think over here legal, like to sell without licence um, she used to have to send away for it and it used to cost her a blooming fortune and it just came on and it just got me all upset because it just reminded me of my mum and I just got myself in a bit of a state. But anyhow, I'm all right now. Um, but yeah, if there's anybody that, you know, the feeling lonely. I mean, I'm, I'm in this house all day on my own. And like last week, hubby was out most of the week working. And when I say out, I mean overnight as well. If he gets sent down to say... London and is on driving time and can't get back or South Wales or wherever he sometimes has to stay out and I don't see him for a couple of days and a couple of nights as well sometimes last week was nearly all week so it does get lonely especially when you can't just I mean when you go out for a walk you don't see anybody or anything well as before when I've nipped out and had a walk around the village before the lockdown and things you used to see people hello are you all right and blah 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 and what's the gossip and blah not anymore so it's difficult I know so we all need to try and g each other up a little bit so just take a bit of care take a bit of time out of your day and speak to somebody and if it's you that's feeling down you ring somebody pick the phone up and ring somebody and say I just want to chat have you got half an hour spare or 10 minutes or can I just talk to you I'm just feeling a bit fed up and I'm sure people have been in the same position and probably didn't do it so you need to look after each other um so yeah so on that note i shall say goodbye please give me a thumbs up if you like the video like i said on the other video um and subscribe if you haven't share with your friends and what have you and pop pop down any comments in the box below and any videos that you'd like me to do please pop in the comments below as well and i'll do my best to try and sort it out for you so for now my darlings i shall move my stuff out of the way before it goes clattering on the floor frightens the dog out of his skin <laughs> For now, my darlings, take care, look after yourselves, and I'll see you soon.